This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hi, this is Daniel from Mobile Geeks at the Google event in Berlin and we are having a look at the brand new Google Pixel smartphone, uh, which is the smaller one of the two brothers. Uh, over here we've got the Pixel XL and as you can see the XL is definitely quite a lot bigger. It has a 5.5 inch display as compared to the 5.2 inch display in the Pixel and also the resolution on the Pixel is lower. It's only Full HD, which is definitely more than enough. This has a 2K display and of course the battery is smaller. The XL has a 3440 milliamp hour battery. This one has a 2770 milliamp hour battery, which is um, of course less, but First, let's focus on the Pixel. Since the video on the Excel is already out, you'll find the link in the description. So the Pixel is the smaller one, as I said. The display is still really nice. So this is an AMOLED panel with some really wide viewing angles, as you can see. The colors are very vivid, and um, it definitely is one of the brighter displays. Um, with Full HD, I think this is definitely the better decision. It's better for a battery life to have a Full HD panel, and it's still more, yeah, more than sharp. Um, as you can see here, icons look really crisp and text should be no problems at all. Uh, what bothers me a bit is that the chin and the tops are a bit thick. So uh, the side bezels are okay, but uh, definitely the top and the bottom bezels could be a lot slimmer to make the device footprint even smaller. On the top over here you get an 8 megapixel front camera. Um, on the side you get um, your nano SIM card slot. There's no um, storage expansion by micro SD cards here. Um, USB Type-C, which with uh, Quick Charge 3.0, um, this is the microphone, this is the speaker, so you only get mono speakers. Um, and on the right side, you get your volume rocker and of course your standby button, which has a nice texture to it, so you can feel it on your thumb when you get it out of your pocket, which is quite nice. And of course, on the top, you get a three and a half millimeter headphone jack which is getting pretty rare right now with um, Apple and also Motorola dropping them in their flagship devices. So um, having a look at the back, you can see that the um, Google Pixel is made almost completely out of one piece and solid piece of aluminum and it definitely feels very nice, although it is quite a light phone, I must say. It definitely feels a bit lighter than the competition. Um, also on the top over here you get a 2.5D Gorilla Glass, um, which um, Google says gives you better reception for Wi-Fi but also cellular networks. And it also looks quite special um, if you ask me. You still get one of these antenna bands on the bottom, probably for Wi-Fi or GPS. Um, but still, that's, that's a nice detail and a nice touch to a smartphone design. On the top there is a 12 megapixel camera um, with a dual LED flash. The camera has an aperture of f2.0, uh, which is actually in the mid-range right now. The Galaxy S7 has an f1.7 uh, aperture, the iPhone f1.8, so it's okay. Um, pixel size though is quite nice. 1.5 by microns is actually quite a large pixel size, so it should get some decent low light performance, although it doesn't have an optical image civilization, but it does have digital civilization for video. Now let's have a further demonstration of the Google Pixel, the smaller one of the two brothers. So first let's have a look at the new Nougat uh, home screen and of course the app drawer which is accessible from with a swipe from the bottom of the screen, um, which is actually quite convenient when you're using it with one hand only. Um, also what's new is on the top left corner, you get a Google symbol, which is your Google search bar. Of course, you can also make um, a voice search, but you can also type if you want. Uh, what's also interesting is you can long press the app icons on the home screen to get um, a quick toggle, uh, for example, to your featured videos or um, uh, for your YouTube search or you can go to photos and have a search of your photos um, or clean up your memory and of course you get maps so you can um, have your home destination um, right on your home screen if you longer press it um, then you get right into here and yeah, if you short press it you get right into there and if you long press it you can place it on your home screen which is quite convenient. Um, if we have a look at the settings uh, we just swipe down hit the settings button and as you can see here in all settings which is in German on the at the bottom you see about the phone it says Android 7.1 so this is running the newest ver version of Android Nougat and on the tab on the right if we swipe to right you see that uh, there is a new help 
option on here. Uh, so you can call or chat with a Google employee if you have any problems with your phone or if you have any questions at all. So if we go back to the home screen, um, let's have a look at the camera. So the camera is a 12 mega megapixel camera which starts up quite quickly. Um, there is almost no shutter lag. If we just press the shutter, um, you see that it does sh uh, um, shoot pretty quickly. And there's also a smart burst mode. If you long press the camera, the camera will do um, a lot of photos. It was 11 photos in this um, little time section and you can choose of course yourself but also the algorithm inside the um, Photos app will choose the best frame and the sharpest frame for you. If we go back to the camera there are also other options like HDR plus uh, which adds some dynamic range. Um, it is uh, automatically on but uh, you can turn it off as well. And um, what is also nice if you tap in the middle of the screen on the right side you will get a um, exposure compensation level so you can set your exposure compensation uh, by hand manually which is quite nice since the Nexus 6P didn't have it with Marshmallow it just got it right now and uh, the Pixel has it out of the box so that's quite nice. Um, for the end let's go to the gallery and have a look at the photos which were shot with the Pixel. So the benchmarking, photo benchmarking site uh, DxOMark said that uh, they give us the highest rating for a phone which is 89 points and as you can see here the Pixel definitely um, proves that it can shoot really beautiful photos but of course we will have to see in our full review if it um, lives up to the standards of other cameras like the Galaxy S7 or the iPhone 7 um, although of course in the benchmark it is a bit better but um, the footage we see over here definitely looks nice and very crisp. So this is the Google Pixel which is um, retailing soon for I guess it's 649 US dollars for the 32 gigabyte version and the 128 gigabyte version will cost of course more. Um, performance looks good with a Snapdragon 821, 4 gigs of RAM, I think this definitely is a breeze. Although I think it's a bit on the, well, yeah, more expensive side um, of all the Android phones which were presented now. But it definitely is one of the more interesting phones with all the Android Nougat and other updates coming out like straight on this device. So if you like this video give us a thumbs up and of course let us know in the comments what you think about the Pixel and the Pixel XL. I'm Daniel from Mobile Geeks. Thanks for watching. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus.